Thank you for joining us in prayer today. I'm Father Ron Hoy with the newest member of our God Minute team, Justin, who's with us, who's going to share reflection, and for the rest of us here in chapel as well. Thanks for being here. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and and my my mouth mouth shall declare declare your praise. praise. Psalm 62, God is my rock. My soul be at rest in God alone, from whom comes my hope. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, I shall not fall. My deliverance and honor are with God, my strong rock, my refuge is with God. Trust God at all times, my people. Pour out your hearts to God, our refuge. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hi everyone. My name is Justin Matizewski. A little bit about me. I'm from Brighton, Michigan, where I grew up with my twin sister, younger brother, and loving parents. They all taught me what it means to be engaged in my Catholic faith. I'm currently a student at DePaul University, where I'm double majoring in accounting and finance. I'll be graduating from DePaul in the spring. While studying is always important to me, I enjoy using my free time to remain active in my faith. At DePaul, I've led a series of retreats and helped plan our Sunday night mass for students. I look forward to being in prayer with you all here at the God Minute. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Jesus is constantly telling us throughout the Gospels to be not afraid. So why is it that we're constantly worrying? I know especially during the last month or so, I have been constantly worried. Worried about my health, my family, my friends, and those I love. I worry when things are uncertain, or when I'm unsure what the future may hold for me. I think worrying is simply a part of human nature. But whenever I look back, I ask myself, was all my worrying worth it? Did all of the stress and anxiety I imposed on myself truly help the problem I was facing? Most of the time, the answer is no. The words we hear from the first letter of Peter today perfectly coincide with the true waste that worrying is. Under God's mighty hand, He may lift you up in due time. I believe the due time Peter is talking about is not our time, but God's time. I'm always wanting to do things on my time, but I'm missing the point. I shouldn't be living on my time. I should be dwelling in his time. The whole idea of God's time is something I struggle with because I like to know where I'm going. A perfect example of this is when I reflect back on all those decisions in my life that I've been worried about. But looking back at those big life decisions, I can see Christ working. I see him working not on my time, but on his. Whether it be choosing a college, a job, or a partner, he's always been there. Every time the future is uncertain, he leads me where he wants me to go. 
in the center of my uncertainty, worry, and fear, he gives me the gift of himself. He enters into the mess of my life, often when I least expect it. So as we continue through these uncertain and worry-filled times, let us remember that Christ always enters into that worry. It may be silent, but he comes all the same. He gives us himself freely, with no strings attached. So let us trust in him, that he will work on his time. And let us lift our hearts in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, keep me from putting my hope too much in my knowledge, my social connections, my ability to plan. The reality is that we are completely dependent on you for everything. Help me to not resist that truth but to derive the comfort and grateful joy that comes from gladly accepting it. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you all for being with us in prayer today. Justin, thank you for saying yes for that beautiful reflection. And for all of you praying with us around the globe, God bless you. May the Lord protect you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.